hello everyone welcome to my channel again so in this video i just found another problem on the gd5 but this is not a big problem at all well uh, this is the problem with the raw file on the gd5 the raw file on the gd5 it's called rw2 when i bring it to my lightroom so it doesn't support it's very easy to fix it if you should draw on a, on your gd5 so let's head over to the computer and take a look how i do it let's go so back to my computer now so i have my raw folder here called raw2 this is what i name my folder then i just want to show you guys if i launch the adobe lightroom and then you want to import those raw file into your adobe lightroom um, this is how it say um, hang on uh, this is the folder with the raw file okay as you guys can see here preview unavailable for this file and of course if I, I don't want to import uh, check all of this just just one just to give you the uh, demonstrate uh, this is what it say here some important on uh, some import some import operation were not found were not performed <laughs> as you guys that, that that's a problem you know so what you need to do here it's very easy and simple so this is the program called adobe dng converter you know you can you you, you can go to you know internet you go find this program called adobe like uh, adobe dng converter download it and install it to your computer and you're good to go it's just very simple it's not a big problem um uh, yeah and i don't know why it's happened to me because of my adobe lightroom version or something or you know i i don't know i have no idea uh, but that that that's what i faced so now let's get into the uh, demonstration let's get into how the uh, converting process works so i'm gonna go with this program okay so select folder select the folder where you store your raw file okay so you're gonna go there of course this is uh, the raw file that i store uh, here if you want to you know select the photograph that you uh, want to convert it won't be able to do that I mean if you just want to do specifically picture you want to convert um, you want to select the photo and then uh, convert it that's no ability to do that you have to, to select the whole folder for example here you're gonna select the whole folder or in or or you can um, you know if you um, convert um, yeah so you need to select so you need to select the whole you need to select the whole folder and yeah so now the raw file the raw w2 folder it's already attached so I'm not gonna do anything here this is the file extension there's not raw anymore it's called dng it can be uh, capital and can be you know I, I, I don't care <laughs> so I'm not gonna do anything here I just leave it like right there so here is select location saved convert images so if you want a specifically uh, folder you know you, you don't want to duplicate the picture that you converted from raw file to the dng raw and different in different folder you can also select folder here but for me i'm not gonna do i'm gonna convert into the same folder you know i'm gonna yeah it's gonna store the same location here raw w2 so i'm gonna go to convert right now the converting process it's starting now so as you guys can see one image is converted two three this is the process of the converting so when you go back to your Adobe Lightroom or or you want to go to the uh, folder so you 
so you can see oh sorry so you can see there are some images can be displayed as you guys can see there is a few images this is the DNG file I believe so let's go find the property um, yes this is a raw uh, this is a DNG file okay you guys can see there and what this file <laughs> This is uh, RW2. This is the original raw file on the GD5. Then you can definitely bring those photo into your Adobe Lightroom. There we go. You guys can see there. Then uh, you can import it. Perfect, perfect. Then you can work on your enhancement. Okay can do your you can uh, this is what I like to do <laughs> I'm gonna I just want to try to see the detail but but this is what this is what I normally do I'm gonna this is what I normally do So you can do your enhancement here, okay. Right, so this is the photo and you can start doing your work. Maybe you want to see the detail at the background, you want to try to bring the highlight all the way down and you want to, you know, bring a little bit of brightness in this area here, in the dark area, so you're gonna will bring up your shallow but yeah so this is how I do it maybe I want to bring the black down a little bit um, that's pretty good there and then maybe I bring the white up a little bit there we go then I'm gonna clarity of course uh, with this kind of photo definitely need to work with clarity but po on portrait uh, maybe not you know maybe just yes, maybe no but to me I don't really do clarity on portrait so you're gonna bring your uh, vibrant to 24 and as you can see there is some noise there you can work on uh, you can bring the luminance luminant a little bit just try to hide the noise but to be honest the raw file on the GD5 is not good I mean just contain a lot of noise you know I don't know why this this picture which I should add ISO 200 that's the lowest ISO 200 that's that's pretty good you know it should be fine there and f2.2 so to speak very fast so to speak because this is very bright light bright daylight so I have to shoot that fast so to speak there then I just want to bring the sharpness a little bit maybe to 34 yeah that's not bad that's pretty good there yeah so that's it for this video guys this is how I bring my raw file on the GD5 into Adobe Lightroom uh, if you guys face that kind of problem so this is a good video for you guys so you need to go you need to download the what is it the DNG converter and then you can bring your RW2 raw file on the GD5 and convert it to DNG raw file that's the Adobe Lightroom uh, offer um, right so that's it for this video guys hope you like it if you don't Hope you like it if you like hope you like it but if you don't also feel free to give me a thumbs down and yeah be sure to hit the subscribe button if you wish to see more content from my channel bye bye now